Hey there, I'm Joni. Welcome to my studio. Now, this video is not for everybody. This is for you if you have spent any time on this channel. If you've watched my videos before or you've learned about food photography from me, then this is, this is for you because I want you to know I'm not going away. I'm not disappearing. This is not a fun farewell. This is a I'm taking a little breather because of so many exciting things that we have coming up. And you know, it's so hard, I think, for so many of us to take time, to take a break, especially when we're self-employed, right? That we can put this immense amount of pressure on ourselves to always be working, right? Because we can always be working. Like my house is literally right over there and I'm here in the studio, right? So, um, but I think about, I go back to the start of where this journey, where this kind of current adventure started from. And it was from my process of recovery and my process of leaving my day job, which I've shared a video about that before. You can go rewatch that one to get more of uh, that story. But something that was really key and really important that I think I've forgotten about, that I'm trying to remind myself and return back to, is the idea that I was meeting with a therapist at that time who was helping me in my recovery process and helping me work through things. And one of the things that we identified and that was super important was that, so my last day of my day job was April 30th, 2015. And that then I committed, promised to myself and made a commitment to not work for an entire month, to take a whole month, which I mean, terrifying, right? Because at that time I didn't know what I was springboarding into next. We didn't have clear money coming in the house, like all the things, like how I did that. That's another story for another day. But uh, it was really important to prioritize that time of rest and that time of allowing the dust to settle and allowing the creativity to sort of like reinfuse and the vision to reinfuse for what would become the next, the next chapter, which I didn't know what the next chapter was, but it revealed itself all in good time and I'm so thrilled the way it's all turned out. But that whole month, which that was May, May 2015, we called it May play. That's what the, uh, my therapist came up with that title. And I always think of her when May rolls around, but we're going to now do it in February. We're calling it February play. I mean, no, I don't really have a fun play on words for February, but uh, I'm coming off the heels of another exciting year here on the bite shot, creating a lot of really cool content that I'm proud of creating a lot of course content that I'm proud of uh, just wrapping up a cookbook shoot that I could not be more over the moon about and so thrilled for that to be coming out and uh, so many fun things for 2022 but I know because we're I'm hiring people I'm bringing people into the team I'm not gonna just be doing this on my own uh, but in preparation for that stage and to be able to take on what I know there's so much work to be done there are so many cool opportunities and things I want to do but I know that I need a solid block of time to return back to that mentality of May play to really force my myself into a slower rhythm, force myself to be still and allow kind of the dust to settle a little bit so that I can have the appropriate vision and motivation and excitement for what is to come. So with that being said, I am currently hiring and I will probably continue to be hiring from here on out because I've recognized and realized in the four years that I've been running this business that I cannot do this myself, that, um, you know, that there's only so much of me to go around and so needing some really helpful people to take the various things that I'm not great at off my plate. And so if you are interested in being a part of this team, I do have a link down below with more information about what we're currently hiring for. And there's also information to how you get on my email list. That is going to become the hub. That is going to be the central location. There will not be a lot coming out, of course, over the next couple weeks from me because I'm gonna be taking time to be quiet and be peaceful and take my time and to think, <laughs> to get some clarity and to plan. But then once we launch into the spring, I definitely have some exciting things coming up and I wanna make sure you're in the loop because one of the things that I definitely am working more toward in the future in thinking about you know where we're at 
in the internet that so much has changed in such a short amount of time. I mean, YouTube did not exist 20 years ago. And so what, what am I building? What's the long haul? I'm always a long view person. And so putting things into place where not everything that I'm going to do is going to live on YouTube because I want to create something that can last the long haul. I mean, YouTube, bless your heart, <laughs> could, could shut off tomorrow, could say, peace out, homies, we're going to do something else. Are they going to do that? Probably not, no. But at the same time, uh, building something that is off of YouTube. So we will still continue to be here. There will still continue to be new content coming forward, but the emphasis will not be as much on the YouTube platform. So in order to stay in the loop and stay current and to make sure you don't miss the education coming up, feel free to subscribe to the email list. I am not a spammer. I am a value oriented person. If you, again, if you're here, you're here, you're watching this, you know me, you know what I'm all about. Um, I only want to do things that are helpful and that I think that you'll enjoy and will help to grow and expand your own personal photography journey. But so I wanted to make this video because I care a lot about you. I look at this like a relationship. I didn't want to just kind of like go MIA and ghost you. Like <laughs> it's all, I am around, I'm doing my thing. Know that this is the important next step in order to build us up into what is the next chapter of things and where my ultimate goal and intent is to continue to provide you top quality education, inspiration, ideas, ways to help you in your creative journey and to know you're, you're not alone. So, and also as something that I know is really helpful for me in watching other creative people take breaks, take time for themselves, right? Like it's sort of one of these things that when I see other people do it, it kind of helps, helps me have the courage to do it too and to give myself that permission. So, you know, maybe the algorithm won't like it, maybe whatever, right? We get all these fears going on in our head, but ultimately what is most important is taking care of ourselves and to get ready for what I know is an amazing next chapter. I don't even know what it holds. Honestly, it's probably beyond my wildest dreams because I would say like where I'm sitting right now from five years ago is beyond my wildest, wildest dreams. Like, 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 look, where am I? What is happening? What is life? <laughs> and so if that is going to happen in the next five years, I definitely need to take take some time and it's only a month it's only four weeks in a whole lifetime it's a pretty short period of time so anyway wanted to let you in on where things are at if you want to stay up to date you want to keep in the loop i've got that email list down below i look forward to what we've got on the horizon but take care of yourself and i'll see you soon okay bye